This is what coffee bubbles look like, and today you're learning to make art with them. So we're going to be using the Canson mixed media paper. It's 120 pounds and 11.7 inches by 16.5 inches. And we're also going to be using this super easy to make magnetic frames. I will leave the link to the full tutorial for these down below in the description, along with all the materials we're going to need. One of them is going to be coffee and water and some brushes that you have. They can be cheap brushes and we're going to make kind of like a little arch with the water. We're also going to need a colander to get our coffee through and get some texture in here. You're going to see that in a minute. But basically the water is going to help the coffee stick to the paper and kind of give us this really nice texture as it melts. Here's a little close up for you to see that. If you are worried about bugs, just spray it with some watercolor sealer. You know how much I love rainbows. And that's what we're going to be making today. One of those really cute rainbows that you can actually use to decor all over your home. And since these are so cheap to make and the frames are magnetic and you can exchange the art inside of them, you can even start small business and sell these <laughs> Or you can switch the themes that are in your house and you can make a Christmas one, you can make a Easter one and switch them around as you go during the year. Unless, again, you want to start a small business selling this. <laughs> but anyhow, um, now we're just going to change the brush to a flat one so that we can make this little uh, dabs with the brush and the coffee. Look how I am just wetting it once and then dabbing it multiple times because the coffee in this thing stay like this one sucks up a lot of coffee and so the brush stays loaded and this way you can actually make two three four lines whatever floats your boat I'm making two and that it's an off so we have the texture one line and then we have the little dabs and now we're switching brushes again and just moving the coffee around to make it a little bit darker um, if you want to learn learn about um, coffee painting I have a full series on everything you need to know about coffee painting but basically we um, use things that we have around our house to have really cool textures and different techniques and you can do whatever you want with your papers. I will link that below and also um, all of my coffee making videos, if not most of them, have free printables for you to use. So feel free to go and use my printables and since you're at it if you like these videos please subscribe and hit the like and notification bell so that you let me know that you like my videos and also you don't miss them when they come out we are using the water that we're using to rinse the brushes in because we want a really really light kind of coverage in this layer because we are going to be dropping some darker paint later so this is the wet on wet technique you probably heard about this with watercolors but basically you wet the paper and then add droplets of whatever color you like in this case it's just darker coffee and it makes this really beautiful um, patterns in the water or in the paper this time so it's really really pretty and it's another way to give it a different type of texture to the paper Really simple, eh? <laughs> what are you going to make? Are you going to make a rainbow? Are you going to make some kids art? Um, let me know in the description below. This is just a little bit of hand soap and coffee. It's a concentrated one, so the ratio of water is not as huge. So just in a little bit of water, add some coffee, like the instant coffee, and then a drop of um, the hand soap and mix it up real good. You can even blow on it to make the bubbles bigger, but the point is to make it really bubbly so you have this kind of foamy um, texture on top and just drop it. We're going to get a little messy, but it's okay. It's just coffee, soap, and water, so what can go wrong, right? We're going to let this um, line of white... Um, like a little line of another piece of the rainbow there to distinct between the top and the bottom. Now we're going to be using the same Canson paper, but this time 
we are going to be cutting it because the frame for it, the little wooden stick with the magnetics, um, with the magnets, I'm sorry, it's a little bit smaller, but it's going to be a long piece. So keep in mind that if you make your own magnetic frame, you can make bigger, thicker art or thin and long art. So it's up to you depending on how um, big your little frame is. Now, I'm sorry if you can hear background noise. My neighbors are playing some music. But these are really cool and you can snap um, whatever piece of art in this. Um, normally I put my kids art in it so that they feel special and they feel like they're being displayed. So back to the coffee. I added the same amount of water to both little holes in this pellet and one has a lot of coffee and the other one has a little coffee and the other one is just I rinsed the spoon in. We want to have different shades because we want the contrast between dark, light, and medium kind of shade of coffee. And if you have different brushes and if you have, I don't know, maybe sponges, you can sponge some stuff out. I have a video of different techniques. Actually, I have many different videos of coffee painting techniques, but um, I'll link all of them down below. I normally use them for my journals and the little printables I live for people to use as they please. But um, I'm just making different marks on my paper. Mark making is something that it's really easy. Kids can do it and people who are a little bit um, more old and that need some sort of activity. This is really easy for them to do. I mean, if you have paint in your hands or if you just need to pass the time and do something creative and try to, you know, let loose, this is a good activity for that. And for kids to get entertained with this so much. My kids love it. I have three boys if you've been following me for a long time. And they really love painting with um, coffee. They get crazy and it's really cheap and affordable. So I'm using the technique again with the fork. But this time is just to make marks around it. This looks kind of like a sun and like maybe a mountain and grass. And it's kind of abstract, but you can see, you can think of whatever and make it, you know, whatever it is in your mind. But, um, oh, and if you want to be more specific, you can also, after doing this, just add some details with doodles and like a black pen or micron pens. But pretty easy stuff for you to do. And in very little time. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave that down below too. Have an amazing day and I hope you like this type of art and you get to decorate your home with different techniques. And if you have any questions or any suggestions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment area below. And thank you so much for watching, for staying till the end. I really appreciate your support so, so much. You don't even know. So thank you again. And until next time, bye.